Pupusas are a signature dish in El Salvador. You can find them on almost every corner in the street. Pupusas are made with care and thoughtfulness, made by people with only the purest intentions towards those who eat them. It is a simplistic but very delicious traditional plate. Today, me, my mother, and cousin will make some pupusas for dinner. So let's make some pupusas. You will need refried red beans. You can find these in any Latin American grocery store. Get some olive oil in a medium pan and cut some onions for taste. Please be careful as the oil and the onions pop. Cover with a lid until the onions completely char. Then remove the onions. Now you can add your refried beans. Cook until they achieve a thick consistency. This is how it should look like. Let it cool off. For the dough, get your masa. Masa is corn flour. You can also find it in your local Latin American grocery store. There are many things you can make using masa, from tortillas to tamales. It is used all over Latin America. Get your warm water and use your hands to mix the two ingredients together. Knead the dough very well. This is how it should look like. For the cheese, I will be using Salvadoran quesillo, but shredded mozzarella cheese works just fine. Knead the cheese so it's flexible and can easily spread out when assembling the pupusas. My cousin, Carmen, will be demonstrating how she makes her pupusa. First, she soaks her hands lightly with water so the dough doesn't stick to her hands. She grabs a medium-sized ball of dough, enough to fit in her hand. She shapes the ball of dough into a plate. After, Carmen adds her refried beans and kneaded cheese, just enough to be able to close your pupusa. Don't overstuff your pupusas because it will be harder to shape into the pupusa shape. She closes up her pupusa well and then cuts away any excess dough. Carmen continues to create the plate-like shape with her stuffed pupusa. And she's finished. Well, not quite. After you're done with assembling and shaping your pupusa, wash it lightly with oil and slab it on a low, medium, heated flat pan. Flip the pupusa on both sides until it looks golden and crisp. Pupusas are served alongside a cabbage salad, curtido, as well as a simple salsa sauce, onion, tomato, and cilantro. You are done. Congratulations, you have created your first pupusa. Is it perfectly round and even? Probably not, but don't worry. We all make pupusas differently. Making pupusas is hard. With practice and time, you will make pupusas just like the pupuseras. I still need plenty of practice, as you can see, but it is definitely achievable. My cousin has so beautifully demonstrated how she makes her phenomenal pupusas. Entonces, Carmen, ¿cuál es una de tus memorias favoritas comiendo o haciendo pupusas? ¿Y por qué es tu favorita? Eh, una de mis mejores experiencias es que un día con mi familia fuimos a Olocuilta, que es un lugar en El Salvador donde elaboran eh, variedad de pupusas, sabores. Entonces nos reunimos todos y dijimos, este día vamos a comer solo pupusas exóticas. Entonces cada uno en mi familia escogió una pupusa diferente y eh, estuvimos intercambiando diferentes sabores para conocerlas más y eso, pudimos conocer más pupusas y eh, tuvimos otras experiencias con las pupusas. Es mi favorita porque eh, pues recuerdo que todos estábamos como que no sabíamos a, a lo que nos íbamos a enfrentar con los sabores, sin embargo nos gustó mucho. Every time my mom announced that there was going to be pupusas for dinner, I was always excited to sit down on the table and watch her make pupusas. Mamá, ¿cuál es tu favorita experiencia comiendo o haciendo pupusas y por qué? Una de mis memorias favoritas era porque yo tenía 15 años y era la primera vez que comía pupusas. Y cuando estaban cocinando les salía un olor tan sabroso, indescriptible, el olor que sale, el humo que sale, te encanta, simplemente te encanta el olor y cuando las pruebas con curtidito y salsa, súper sabrosas y como era la primera vez que yo probaba y pues que mi hermana me estaba invitando, 
que si en ese tiempo no había mucho dinero por eso es que tan vieja y no las había probado nunca cuando se me viene el olor siempre las pupusas me remota a cuando tenía 15 años eso por eso me encantan pupusas are extremely delicious there are so many different varieties and combinations the process in which you gather with your family curate a tasty meal and be indulged in each other's presence is one of the best parts about making pupusas. I strongly recommend you try out this recipe as well as other Latin American dishes. Trying these rich foods help you learn and appreciate these cultures and the people in them. Have fun cooking and learning.